If you enjoy the Ranveer show, this is the channel for you. You don't have to consume every single podcast, but you have to binge watch all the clips on this channel. It's TRS Clips. I think we should highlight BCAAs as well before moving on to creatine. Sure. So with BCAAs, what is the scientific truth now? Because again, with supplementation, the studies keep changing every two years. I've noticed this. But as of October 2022, where are we? Okay, so... Um... Okay, it's kind of individual based as well, I guess. Like if you're very intuitive to your body, don't always have to rely on science, you know? Like a lot of things would, for instance, my style of training really isn't backed up with science, but does it work? Well, yeah, I, I, I've shown that it works. So when it comes to branched chain amino acids, uh, you know, you have leucine, isoleucine and valine. Leucine is the really anabolic signaler, but it's more efficient when you actually have the supporting amino acids as well. The, those three amino acids that make up the branch chain amino acids. So what we've seen is that it can prevent muscle atrophy and provide muscle energy. Where I actually found this worked better was when I started doing a lot of endurance-based sports. So a lot of Spartan, like obstacle races, ultra marathons, Ironman triathlon. That's when I really noticed the distance uh, difference where I found that I was able to buffer lactic acid a little bit better because I had more muscle energy from the branch chain amino acids. I wasn't breaking down the muscle tissue as much without mm. it. So I'd have that in my drinks bottle and I found a profound effect from that. Mm. Uh, who would you recommend it to? In terms of, would you recommend it to a college kid who's training hard? If they're training very hard and if they're over the age of 18, for sure. Mm. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. It doesn't matter if you're... 18 or 80, yes, I'd suggest it. Okay. We've had Basu Shankar on the show, who was responsible for Virat Kohli's transformation. I told you about Virat yeah, Kohli yeah, yeah. outside and all that. Uh, he told me that most cricketers, I think all the cricketers are on creatine and they uh, are on it for like a month and off it for a month. Yeah. That's how athletes are administered creatine. We're not athletes. As in when we're you know, living in the city, uh, though I'm very active, I don't have an athlete's lifestyle. Um, how much should an average urban human be consuming creatine? Should everyone be on creatine? Uh, for me, it's made a world of a difference to how much weight I can lift and the way I look. Like all my girlfriends have always noticed when I've been on creatine and when I've not. And, and I'd say the same for my team. So it's been the one supplement that I've really benefited from over years of using it. And I use it carefully. I drink a lot of water. Uh, I go off it. But Chris Gethin, what's the 101? Yeah, for the average person that's on the street, they probably don't need it. But the active individual that's trying to progress and maybe hit personal bests or play sports at a decent level, yeah, take creatine. Mm. Now, you're going to get the very few that aren't receptors to creatine. And it all depends on a different form of creatine that you take as well. So with a monohydrate, sometimes, the, you know, which is the most studied form and the most studied amino acid and supplement out of all supplements out there, not only for performance, but purity and safety as well. So anyone who says creatine is not safe, it is the most studied supplement for safety as well. It's a safe product. I think the argument again is something related to water. Yeah, hydration. If people aren't hydrated because it, it pulls set, uh, fluid into the cell of that creatine and into the muscle, then yeah, you're going to be dehydrated. So you'll need to drink more water when you're taking creatine, no doubt. Now, some people will take creatine monohydrate and they are not receptors to it. Sometimes it gives them stomach upset because the particle size just cannot absorb through the stomach wall lining. So then you can take another form of creatine, which is called HCL, which is creatine hydrochloride, okay, mm. which is a lot easier. So it's a more concentrated form of monohydrate, which is a lot easier for your body to absorb. So if you're taking a creatine monohydrate, you take 20 grams per day. Is okay. there any downside to having uh, the hydrolyzed creatine? No. So no. why doesn't everyone uh, take it? Every Some people respond better to creatine monohydrate. Some people cr respond better to creatine hydrochloride. Gotcha. Everyone's different. Now, with the creatine monohydrate, the standard dose is usually about 20 grams a day. So you'd have a, 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 a five grams before your workout, five grams after your workout, then another 10 grams throughout the day. I usually just put it in my gallon drug. <laughs> and drink it throughout the day. It's a lot easier and convenient. And then when a hydrochloride, it's usually based on that person's body weight, but it's usually, God, six grams, say, maybe in total throughout mm. the day. And that's why you'll find it a lot 
in like pre-workouts uh, or post-workouts because it's it's much more condensed and you don't have to have so much in a scoop at that time. But I think, you know, creatine is obviously found in naturally in a lot of protein sources like meat products and stuff like that. This is just a, a more convenient way and a more condensed way for you to get it in. So what I always explain to people when I say, well, what does creatine do for me? It helps produce more ATP, adison triphosphate, which is the energy source utilized in more explosive movements like sprinting, powerlifting, or bodybuilding, okay? And let's say if you're stuck, you've hit a plateau, you can only get 11 reps or maybe 10 repetitions out, it could potentially help you get that 11th rep out mm. or that 13th rep out, okay? That one more repetition that you usually stop short of. Which which matters in the long term because it yeah, compounds. Yeah, for sure. Because it's failure. When you're failing, when you're really struggling on that last rep, that's where usually your success is found. Mm. Let's say if you're trying to get to 12 repetitions, the first 10 is a waste of time, but you need to do them to get to your failure point. So if you, you know, you're doing your 10 reps just to get to your 12, but you can do 13, that one makes a huge difference. And can you be on creatine throughout the year? Uh, you can, but some people aren't always as responsive when they do creatine throughout the year. So it's usually, you mentioned, uh, if, uh, I think four weeks on, four weeks off was suggested. I usually go for eight weeks on and four weeks off. I usually finish my entire bottle and then take like a month off. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. And and you do see a visual difference in terms of because your muscles are letting go of the water. The fluid, yeah. So you do look a little leaner. Yeah. You push a little less in the gym. But when you're back on it, um, you have a slightly higher jump than the previous time if you're serious about your training. Yeah, and having a little bit of that extra fluid retention can help with your joints and the connective tissue surrounding your joints as well. So you can push a little more and not feel as much strain on your joints. And much like, you know, having salt in your diet. Mm. If you're getting a good salt in there, I believe salt is like the mineral version of creatine <laughs> where you get a little bit more fluid retention. You're able to push so much more and feel stronger, especially in a, you know, humid climates, you know, yeah. in lots of parts of India where you're sweating a lot, you know, you need to have that salt in your diet. Maybe it's the same logic as uh, when you eat a lot of shit, you become a lot stronger. Yeah, possibly. <laughs> I'm not saying that I'm going to be an advocate of that though. Just have the salt. If you enjoyed this video, just know that this entire channel is full of playlists that will take you down different pathways of learning. All sorts of subjects, all sorts of genres, all sorts of guests, but the one commonality, lots of knowledge. Enjoy TRS Clips.